prayer meeting. If you have the Bible, look at the book of Joel, chapter 2. Joel, chapter 2, verse 28. It's a very famous scripture. Joel, chapter 2, verse 28. And afterward, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions. Even on my servant, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days. I will show wonders in the heavens and on the earth, blood and fire and the uh, billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and the dreadful day of the Lord. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved for on Mount Zion in Jerusalem. There will be deliverance, as the Lord has said, among the survivors, in whom the Lord calls. You know that this is a very famous scripture about, um, about the Holy Spirit come upon all flesh. This is the day of the Lord. When was happening? 2,000 years ago, day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit come upon 120 people. And then when the Holy Spirit come upon these disciples and the church established, the who is the founder of the church? Holy Spirit. Already God prophesied about this uh, promise. Verse 28 says, God say, I will pour out my Spirit on all people. All people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions. If you're old man, you can have a dream dreams. If you're young man, and you can see the visions. Then you can see the, how many have dreams? How many ever see the visions? You see the visions and dreams. Even God said, oh, my servant, both a man and woman, I will pour out my spirit in those days. In those days, not only they have a Pentecost, even now, now. In these days, means now, today, today, today. And then I will show the wonders in heaven on earth, blood and fire, flows of smoke. This is actually end time. This end time. Yeah. In the end time, last day, you will see this kind of wonderful, wonderful signs. This is signs. Do you remember who said that in the last day, there's a famine come? In the last day, there's an earthquake in various place. Mm -hmm. Who say that? Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus say, in the last day there's a war and rumors of war. Who say that? Jesus. When Jesus say, it's gonna happen. Already you saw that. Earthquake, famine come. Yeah. After the COVID, there's more people is a, is a suffering, financially, materially. Lack of food. Even the Ukraine war more difficult the price increase it's so hard this happened already and it was 32 this is a wonderful promise you know holy spirit come upon you and when the holy spirit come upon you what you need to do you need to cry out and look verse 32 and everyone who calls everyone jews and gentile anyone everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Will be saved from Mount in Zion and in Jerusalem. Yeah. The Jewish people need to call upon Yeshua Hamashiach. Jesus is their Messiah, their God, their Savior. They should call upon the name of the Lord. And there will be a deliverance, as the Lord has said. How many of we need a deliverance? <laughs> we need a deliverance from all the darkness, deliverance from all the bad habit, from all the addiction, from all the darkness, from the demonic power. But we need to call upon the name of the Lord Jesus. Anyone 
the survives of whom the cause. Can I look at the book of Lomas? Lomas chapter 10. Lomas chapter 10, verse 8. Lomas chapter 10, verse 8. But what does he say? The world is near you. He is in your mouth and in your heart. Yeah, that is the word of faith. You, we are proclaiming. The word of God is where? In your mouth and in your heart. These two areas. Your heart and your mouth. is so important. That if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. You know, when I pray for people, you can say that Jesus is my Lord. They say, Jesus is my Lord. And if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God is Jesus from the dead, yet you will be saved. Believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins. He died on the cross. And he raised up on the third day. And Jesus went to heaven. And he will come in again. Believe that. In your heart. And you are saved. And believe in your heart, and God raise him from the dead, you'll be saved. For it is with your heart that you you believe and justify it. And it is your mouth that you confess are saved. Yeah. Believe in your heart. Believe in your mouth. Yeah. Confess it. Verse 11, and the scripture says, anyone who turns, anyone who trusts in him will never be put to shame. How many of you trust in Jesus? Amen. If you trust in Jesus, you will never shame in Jesus now, man. Amen. Never be shame. Never. Never. When you trust in Jesus. Look, and then verse 12, for there is a difference between the Jew, sorry, there is no difference. Any difference between Jew and Gentile? No. Not at all. There's no difference between the Jew and Gentile. The same Lord is Lord of all, richly blessed all who call on Him. Yeah. Do you call on Jesus? Yeah. How many believe that Jesus is your Messiah yeah. and your God and your Savior? You believe that, yeah? Yeah. Whoever call upon the name of Lord Jesus, you never be shamed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Trust in Jesus, never be shamed. And this is a the promise again verse 34 everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved call upon the name of the Lord will be saved and there was 14 how then can they call on one they have not believed in how can they believe in the one of whom they have not heard and how can they hear without someone preaching to them and how can they preach unless they are sent and it is written how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news yeah how can they believe if there's nobody preaching to them they never know who is yeshua mashiach yesterday so 23 souls come to Lord jesus yeah 23 souls one guy is working in the electric shop <laughs> We tried to buy the washing machine, and he come from Philippines. His name Mark, Mark. and he's he's a Roman Catholic. And then he said, "I believe in Jesus." And if you die, where shall you go? Do you know what he say? Uh, I think I did return to this world, become something like a cow or a cat. He believed in incarnation. Can you imagine? Roman Catholic. I'm Roman Catholic. Philippines is Roman Catholic Church. I'm Roman Catholic. I also, and I told him, you know, I'm, I used to be a Buddhist. In Buddhism, yeah, teaching about incarnation. Why Buddhist people, they don't kill the mosquito insect? Why? Yeah. Mosquito. Before mosquito. Somebody who are criminal before he died, and then died, and then incarnate again and become a mosquito, become a cockroach. They don't kill the insect, all these things. 
Do you believe that? Uh -huh. We don't. <laughs> my mama, and then I explained to him how he got to heaven. <laughs> Can you imagine? And he called up the name of the Lord Jesus. He saved. So important. How beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. Bring good news. Call up the name of the Lord Jesus. God never give us any other name to be saved. Only one name. Jesus say, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Look at Acts chapter, Acts chapter 2. Sorry. Acts chapter 4, verse 12. Acts chapter 4, verse 12. Can you read together? Back chapter 4, verse 12, 1, 2, 3. Yeah, Salvation found is, is in no one else, for there, there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. saved. How can you say? Through which name? Jesus. Jesus. Did God give us any other name to be mm -hmm. saved? No one. No one else. No one else. We must be saved. Only one name. Jesus Christ. That is what Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one, no one, no one come to the Father except to me. Only Jesus. You know, Jehovah's Witnesses, they don't believe Jesus is the way and truth and life to heaven. They don't believe in the heaven. They don't believe in the heaven. Father, we thank you. Help us to call up the name of the Lord Jesus. And then we have eternal life. We shall be saved. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Keep on praying for our conference today from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. We have conference. Uh, the conference speaker from Korea. And um, then Pastor Moon. And she will share the word of the Lord today. And then we will have a wonderful time today. And today and tomorrow, we will pray for the Bible of the United Kingdom. And even though in couple of times today, we will have an outreach from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., one hour outreach also, tomorrow and Thank you. God bless you.